if y'all guys are wondering what separates the alpha male from the beta male, it's simply as the alpha male can accept his flaws and insecurities, and the beta male simply can't get past them. Yep. Why can you have one guy who's five seven alpha think he owns the world, and you got this other guy five seven, his height controls him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He can't get past that. Why is that? Why you got two? Well, this guy over here accepts that, okay, I am short, but guess what? I got them got other attributes too. And this guy here, he can't see past that. The point I'm trying to make, guys, is we all have insecurities. None of us, none of us have, it, there's nothing about none of us that we wouldn't change if given the opportunity. I would have fucking afro right now, probably. Who knows? But the <laughs> point being is, <laughs> The point being is we all have things about us that we want to change. You have to get past that. That's the yeah. only thing that's separating you from coming over here to this side is that you have to accept that whatever it is that's wrong with you or whatever you would like to change, that guess what? There's somebody out there that will like me for who I am right now. No matter how short I am or how ugly I think I am, somebody out there likes me for me. And that's what you guys, that is from being a dating coach, and getting emails and stuff like this, it's these insecurities that mm -hmm. guys have. I have bumps. I'm bald. I'm short. I'm this. I'm that. I talk like this. Nobody's perfect. You have to get past that. That is what I've seen with men's biggest issue, those damn insecurities.